from elected office to prison. Paul Peterson is now starting his 74-month sentence in federal prison in El Paso, Texas. Mr. Peterson facilitated at least 500 adoptions. A federal judge in Arkansas sentencing Peterson in December, a little more than a year after cops arrested the then Maricopa County assessor. Peterson confessed to running an illegal adoption scheme, flying in pregnant women from the Marshall Islands, putting them up in homes in Arizona, Utah, and Arkansas, then paying them to give their babies up for adoption. Organizations that have since worked to help the women say they were exploited, often led to believe they would get their babies back. We're talking about upwards to 16 people living in a two-bedroom apartment by people who threatened, intimidated them. Peterson's new life behind bars just getting started at the low-security Texas prison as he still awaits sentencing in both Utah and Arizona. In Arizona, Peterson admitted to claiming the women were Arizona residents so they could obtain state benefits, costing taxpayers more than $800,000. The defendant lied to state court judges and manipulated birth mothers into consenting adoptions that they did not fully understand. Though the judge in Arkansas said he would recommend Peterson's sentences in Arizona and Utah run concurrently to his federal sentence, it's ultimately up to each judge to decide. Whether you're wealthy, whether you're powerful, whether you're a politician, whether you're elected office, if you break the law, you suffer the consequences. And Peterson's sentencing here in Arizona was supposed to happen this week, but it's now slated for mid-March. We reached out to Peterson's attorney for comment, but he was unavailable. Bianca Bono, 12 News.